Leia knew her proposal to lead the mission to Bistatha was sensible, useful, and direct. Obviously, the Senate didn't know what to do with it. We could hardly be certain of assuring your safety, Princess Leia, said Lady Carice Sindian, the only senator who called Leia by her royal title rather than her elected one while on the Senate floor. We couldn't put you at risk. Have you no faith in the soldiers of the New Republic, Senator Sindian? This objection actually came from another centrist, Senator Arbo, one of the war hawks of Coruscant. Senator Organa will travel with an entire squadron of guards to protect her at all times. Do not doubt their ability or their valor. Tylin Gar shook his head. We could hardly expect Senator Organa's investigation to run smoothly if such a large military presence accompanied her. The people of Bastatha would consider it an intrusion, perhaps even an invasion. This was the first useful thing someone had said since Leia had volunteered for the mission. Given that the tone of the overall conversation was turning towards safeguarding her trip to Bastatha rather than objecting to it, she was beginning to feel encouraged, despite herself. And if she'd realized what a charge she would get out of the mere idea of being out in the field, the chance to work with ordinary people instead of politicians, to evaluate a situation for herself without any committees in the way, she would have come up with another potential mission a long time ago. The journey to Bastatha would be the perfect way to end her career in the Senate, doing something interesting and meaningful again at last. Then she could walk out with a sense of satisfaction that at least she'd been able to accomplish some real, tangible good before she left. Who knows, she thought. Taking on one of the spice cartels? I might even wind up with some stories to rival a few of Han's. Already she couldn't wait to tell him about this. However, Lady Carice wasn't done speaking. The question of this mission's worthiness remains. As others have stated, we have only the testimony of the Emissary of Ryloth to go upon. What has been characterized as criminal activity may be no more than the Nictos attempting to rebuild their economy after escaping the influence of the Huts. Furthermore, and forgive me, but it must be said, such an investigation could not be left to a populist senator alone. Although Princess Leia is no mere conspiracy theorist, some of those on the populist benches are determined to see the worst in any larger organization, whether governmental, military, or economic. I can be objective, Leia began, but her voice was almost immediately drowned out. Protests bubbled up from the populist senators, and it was all Leia could do not to groan. Now her own party would keep her from being heard. C-3PO's gold head swiveled from side to side as he attempted to record the entire debate. I should have thought the Senate would welcome your generous offer. Oh dear. Oh dear is right. Leia kept her chin high, determined to wait this out. Now that she'd tasted even the hope of going into action again, she wasn't going to give it up easily. One of the moderator drones intoned, the floor is granted to Senator Castafo of Ryosa. Even as his name was announced, Ransom Castafo had already risen to his feet, all the better to look impressive for the holodroids. The dark green velvet cloak he wore testified to his wealth and privilege. Leia wondered sourly whether he'd chosen the clothing to make it seem that he was from a more powerful, prestigious world than Ryosa, or because the colors suited his complexion. There was a touch of the celebrity about him, as there was with too many of the younger senators, for whom government was more about fame and influence than duty. My fellow senators, Castafo proclaimed. His narrow, aristocratic face looked out from the screens and hollows. He'd already mastered the politician's trick of seeming to make eye contact with everybody at once. Senator Sindian has raised a valuable point. This should be a bipartisan mission. In fact, I am ashamed on behalf of my own party that one of our own did not volunteer first, because as centrists, we value law and order, do we not? 
Murmurs of agreement rose from various centrist senators. Casterfo went on. Not only is there a need for both populist and centrist perspectives on the question of the Nikto cartels, but we should also be more generous than to repay the courage of the esteemed Senator Organa by requiring her to make such a potentially hazardous journey alone. Smooth, Leia thought with grudging admiration. Casterfo continued, I therefore volunteer to accompany Senator Organa on her mission to Bastatha. We will work together to present a comprehensive, objective set of findings to the Senate upon our return. The sensation in Leia's chest, then, felt a bit like riding on a sailboat in full furl, only to be jerked to a stop by an anchor. Her great last adventure.